Well, hello everybody. It is me and my adorable little kitty cakes. She is the sweetest thing in the entire world. Uh, we call her little goldfish though, because I'm pretty sure she only has like three brain cells. Just kidding, cakes. You're the smartest cat alive. I realized in my last video, I kind of did everyone a disservice. Um, also, before I get into that information, I would like to point out this giant pile of laundry that both my cat and I are lounging in. I thought I should do a video, you know, maybe in an area of the house where it's not going to show the giant mess of laundry, but then I thought, let's just keep it real and show you what life is really like right now. So, uh, two videos ago, I did a video about how my leg might have an infection, and then I just kind of didn't update you guys and jumped into an unboxing pirate video. Uh, so let me give you the updated version of that story. After my dog broke open my wound, sweet puppy that she is, uh, she did let me know that there was something going on with my wound because there was a lot of pus, which is not very delicious or delightful to talk about. I called my doctor right away and they wanted me to send pictures of it, which is, you know, weird to take uh, pictures of pus on your leg, but we did that, we sent it in, and uh, then I went in for an appointment. Uh, went up to Danbury with my mom, and we got there, and uh, he took a good look, let me know that, you know what, it might be an infection, stay on those antibiotics, but maybe it's just a surgical abscess. Apparently, there are stitches underneath the surface when they do this kind of surgery, and those stitches can sometimes get kind of stuck and not dissolve the way that they're supposed to, and then they form these abscesses of fluid that can burst if, let's say, oh, I don't know, a dog jumps on them. So that might be what's going on. Maybe it's an infection, and in case it's still um, a lot more painful than it was and uh, is still... Well, let's just say a little pussy. So I am taking care of it. I'm taking things real easy um, on antibiotics and everything will be fine. We are set back a, a good few weeks though. The big bummer with all of this is that I was supposed to go in and get fitted for my prosthetic and actually stand in it this past week. That had to be put on hold because you can't do that if you have any kind of open wound. And I was really looking forward to that because I want to move forward with this process as quickly as possible and get back to walking because not walking is getting really old really quickly. So I'm trying my best to be really patient and calm and positive and all of that. But there are some moments when it gets a little, gets a little much to be hopping around and on crushes all the time. But I know that that's what life is going to be like right now and for a little while. And so I'm trying to go along with the flow. The other issue is that next week is Thanksgiving, and so that pushes things back even further. But hey, you know what? This is what the journey looks like right now. And so Cakes and I, she's uh, falling into my leg. Oh, don't hit it, don't hit it. I, I just got jumped on by a dog. If I got jumped on by a cat and it broke my wound open, that would just be a sad story to tell. Cause she weighs like, like 10 pounds. Don't you Cakes? Isn't she cute, guys? I cannot get over how much I love animals. Um, one day I will do a video where I introduce you to all five of our big pets. And uh, in any case, I just wanted to take a few minutes to update you guys on what's been going on with my leg because some people were really honestly concerned and that was so, so, so sweet and so encouraging to me. So thank you for caring and thank you for wanting to know what's going on with it. Long story short, there probably was um, some kind of infection, but it is being treated with antibiotics, and I will be okay. I will make it. That's the important part. All right, I'm going to get back to laying down and watching Homeland, because that is what my snowy, maybe you can't see it, but a uh, snowy Colorado Saturday looks like. Cuddle with my little goldfish kitty, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Hope you are having a lovely weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys. Are you a good kitty? This is the only cat I've ever met that loves her belly rubbed. We are so lucky with all the animals we have. Say bye, Cakes. Say bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> also, her feet routinely get stuck. <laughs> you got this, Cakes. I believe in you.